tells our operators when bridges are closed, or when the Battery Street Tunnel is closed, or when uh, Alaska Ray Viaduct closure beacons are activated. So all those messages are automated and provide information to our operators. And then we'll take that information and deploy plans or address the situation as needed. We work uh, closely with the uh, police department, state DOT. Our operators are in regular contact with the uh, uh, metro and the state traffic management centers. Uh, we have 146 traffic cameras and um, we make about 120 of those available on the traveler information site. So this here is a, our traveler information site. It shows uh, we have 10 major corridors where it shows the traffic condition, and eight of those we have uh, travel times. Uh, Jason, could you um, just kind of click on the travel time button? And so you can activate uh, and bring up the travel times on these corridors. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how those adjust. Uh, the dynamic message signs, uh, a few of them will show the travel times um, as you pass them. And so that might be an important tool um, to show you when you're, um, as it, as you're traveling on a particular corridor, if it is more congested than you might normally think, you can at least make a choice to change routes. And, um, and as the mayor mentioned, we just started streaming 12 of the cameras live, and so that's a new tool. The uh, other 120 or so cameras are um, uh, still images, but they're, uh, with, they're refreshed every 60 seconds. Um, and then uh, I want to add a, a few things about the advanced signal system that we have. Uh, the mayor mentioned the, uh, the traffic responsive corridors, and so, and, and those were picked specifically to address a major event like this. So they're on 1st Avenue South, 4th Avenue South, East Marginal Way, and uh, Elliott Avenue, 15th Avenue West. Those are all corridors that uh, traffic is probably going to start using more heavily during this uh, event. And then this week we're adding Aurora Avenue. And so the um, the early results are is that the travel times have improved by up to 20% with uh, the traffic response of these control. And another another measure of the traffic response system is that prior to installing the traffic response system, we the, the signal timing plan to change five times a day, but with a traffic responsive control that uses um, real-time traffic information, uh, the timing plans change 30 times throughout the same period of time of the day. So very responsive and, and adjusting the, uh, the green time uh, at the signals to um, best accommodate existing that's why 